Hi, I'm Jacob Hout. I'm in the professional esports production program, and I'm going to teach you today how to be an esports caster. So one of the first steps to being a commentator for esports is you got to learn the games that you're going to be casting. When learning the games, you're going to want to watch pro play some YouTube videos and also play the games yourself. The reason why you want to watch pro play is first you can analyze what the casters are saying. It's very important. When you're watching pro play, you'll usually get clips of like team comms, and that can help you better understand the game for yourself. I don't play much Overwatch, but we needed casters for it, so I would go on YouTube and I'd watch these videos people would make to give me a better understanding of how the game's played. You want to play games for your own experience. If you play more, then you'll understand the game better. That only helps you when you try to cast the game. When you've actually had the experience, you can use that while you're casting to give a better understanding for the audience. The next step that I usually take is I want to research the teams that we're playing and usually it's on a week to week basis so it's kind of hard but a few things that I like to do to maybe prepare is look at ranks because that's a very good indicator of how good their team is. I also like to look at their roster and see how maybe they stack up to our roster to give us a comparison of how we match up. Also Twitch streams are huge. If you look at those you can get a good understanding of how they play, the flow that they play at and it'll allow you to maybe cast a little bit easier in the middle of those gunfights that actually matter. Another huge part of casting is learning the team and meeting them. It's good to have conversations with them so you know what their mannerisms are and what's special about them so you can put that into your own words when you're casting. Now that we covered the research and things you need to do days or weeks before the match, let's talk about what you do the day of. On the day of the event, you've got to get camera ready. Make sure you're prepared to talk for the next few hours and get to know your co-commentator. So the first thing you want to do before you start casting is you want to get camera ready. So you want to take a shower, brush your hair, brush your teeth, and just get ready because it's important to look good and feel good while you're casting. One super important thing you want to do before you cast is you want to eat and drink. Uh, you don't want to be lightheaded while you're casting and you don't want your throat to get all dry because that's never fun to deal with. Another thing you want to do before you start casting is maybe get to know your co-commentator. At the college level, sometimes it's hard to get the same people to cast every week. So it's good beforehand to get to know them and talk to them a little bit, see how they talk. So then you can, when casting, know when you want to talk. Now that you've gotten yourself camera ready and you've eaten and drank beforehand and you've got to know your commentator, now it's time to commentate. Hello and welcome to Ferris Esports. This is week three for Valorant Gold. I'm here with uh, Elo. Hey. A few tips that you might want to utilize when you cast is breathe. It's important to breathe. I forget sometimes. Another tip I have for you is maybe learn the maps of the game that you're casting. It's important to know how the game flows. My last tip, which I actually think is the most important tip, is knowing when to talk. When you're with your play like play commentator, you want to watch when he pauses because that's when you interject with your own information to make it a more fluid cast. This has been Jacob Hout on how to be an esports commentator. We'll catch you next week on how to.